Welcome back to the channel, Racer X here. And today I've got a really exciting video. Been waiting to do this one now for quite some time. Ever since Ford showed us their new S650 Mustang, I have been pretty darn excited thinking, man, it would be really cool to get a hold of one of those. So I reached out to the dealership out in Tarpon Springs. They're about an hour away from me, uh, Carl Flammer Ford, and been working with these guys, talking to them. Well, guess what? Today, finally, is the day the order banks open for the S650. So I'm gonna go spec one out. It should be a lot of fun. If you guys are brand new to my channel, uh, please do me a big gigantic favor, hit subscribe over here in the corner, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you guys get uh, notified of when my brand new content comes out. And off we go. All right, guys, I made it. Carl Flammer Ford is right here behind me. Uh, they are waiting for me inside. It took me forever to get here, guys. The traffic was absolutely terrible, but they actually got some really cool cars in their showroom too. I'll show those to you, but uh, we're gonna go spec this thing out. I, like I said, I was kind of spec'd it out on their website already, but we'll go inside and make it official. Take a look at this, guys. This is a really cool Stage 3 Roush car, actually signed by Jack Roush himself. I love the interior on this car. So you guys can probably expect a review on this car here coming up really soon. And on the other side of the showroom, just take a look at this gorgeous Fastback Mustang they have in here. Of course, this is a resto mod, but man, this thing is beautiful. I was kind of staring at this thing the last time I was here. Check out that red interior. And uh, it, like I said, it's a resto mod. I mean, you've got the Willwood brakes on it, kind of the modern suspension but yet that old school look and flair check out that beautiful engines inside this thing and just i can't quite staring at this i know i've got something to go do but uh i was kind of taken back by that anyway i'm gonna head over to this office here guys and uh start uh, specking this thing out now i'm working with my buddy mac here at carl flammer these guys are awesome to deal with really nice folks and uh, he actually gave me free reign to his computer you can see literally there's nobody else in the office with me right now <laughs> just in here chilling now i did go ahead and kind of spec this thing at home this morning so i basically know what i want to do but this is in fact the uh, the mustang the 2024 mustang ordering system matter of fact they have a lot of mustangs in here not just the 2024s but this is where the ordering is done and uh, i want to go ahead and start throwing some spec stuff in here but first i want to sort of show you which way i'm leaning um not doing the gt we're doing the dark horse we might as well go big or go home and uh, i think this is going to be really cool buy the dark horse right 100 horsepower per liter 500 horsepower by far and away the most powerful nationally aspirated v8 we thunk He's just That's test. a pretty good one. <laughs> Many of our competitors are saying the days of the V8 are over. We're saying not even close. I went ahead and pulled up Ford's website just for comparison's sake. And as you can see on the Dark Horse, you do have the regular Dark Horse and, of course, the premium. It's like a $2,700 difference between those two. And uh, one, of course, is the 600A. I went ahead and printed this out here. And then, of course, you have the 700A package there as well. And a little bit of a difference on these two. I'm going to go ahead and go for the Bad Daddy 700A. Why not? And I want to start looking at the color palette here. Now, I will say, if you wanted to spec out your own Mustang GT or Dark Horse, all you have to do is go to Ford's website and you can do the exact same thing. And I've been kind of playing around with the colors here. Of course, you do have Racer X Red right here. And that, of course, is going to be one of my favorite things. But I think this time I'm going to go with something a little bit different. Um, I'm really digging this particular blue right here. This is called Atlas Blue. Um, but at the end of the day, I think for me, what I'm going to go with is this bad daddy grabber blue metallic if you've ever seen this color in person it really sticks out this is a throwback color um really do like this grabber blue so i think i'm actually going to gravitate towards grabber blue this time and i know it's not racer x red guys but man how can you not like the way that that thing looks with those accent stripes now, you guys know me, I'm a gearhead, and as you can imagine, one of the most important things that I want for my particular car is the handling package. I know on the Mach 1, um, I really felt the handling package made a huge difference in that particular car. So as you can see, I've got the handling package up right here. The rear wheels on this, 11 inch by 315. So that is even wider than on like a Hellcat or a Scat Pack wide body car, right? Those come with 305. So 315s tucked underneath the rear end of this uh, this Mustang Dark Horse for 2024. That should be pretty darn cool. Of course, it has a, a really upgraded suspension on it. There's a 
couple other kind of key things here. It does say adjustable top mount uh, struts on there. So this package, it's 4,500 bucks, but for somebody like me, the package is well worth it. So I will definitely be going with the uh, handling package on this car. Now, one other quick thing, if you go with Grabber Blue, they actually have a Grabber Blue with white logo brake caliper option. I think that is fantastic. Basically, the only one of the colors offered on the Dark Horse where you can get the matching calipers. You do have black uh, with white, so I guess if you went with a black car, you could do that. This one's Notorious Blue with the Grabber Blue logo, but this is basically going to match the car body uh, perfectly. So, I mean, that is a must. Now, when it comes to the seating, uh, you have a couple of different options. You can certainly get the base seats, and for an additional $1,650, you can get the Recaros. I love the Recaros. Of course, Recaro is one of my partners, so I'm hoping that I can get some really cool seats for this car after Marcus. I'm going to go with just the base seats on this dark horse, because that's really what makes sense in my uh, personal circumstance. However, um, if you've ever been in a car with Recaros, my blue car, my blue Mustang, it had the Recaros, and I absolutely not only love the way they looked, but I love the way that they felt. And uh, so definitely $1,650 bucks, um, for the Recaros. If you like the way that seat feels, it's a little more aggressive, all that kind of stuff, but that definitely could be worth it. So food for thought. Now, one other quick thing I want to add, because a lot of people may wonder, why pick the 700A over the 600A package? Well, here's what you get with the 700A. And the very first one there, you get aluminum food pedals, which I think is a little bit weird. It should probably say foot pedals, but food pedals, maybe that means something else. Approach uh, detection with welcome farewell exterior lighting. So that's just a little bit of exterior lighting for you, something that's kind of unique. Obviously, heated and cooled uh, driver and front passenger seats, memory driver seat. So a couple other convenient type options there. Certainly the uh, universal garage door opener, security package, and then of course the, uh, the premier trim. So a little bit different accents on the 700A as well. It's not a super expensive package, but it definitely sets itself apart a little bit. So uh, that's why I went with the 700A. Now, by far the most difficult decision I had to make on this build was on the transmission because both transmissions that go in this car are really good for the dark horse. The six-speed manual in this is the Tremec, uh, which is basically right out of the GT350, and that is really, really good. A far cry away from what went in the base Mustang GT. That transmission really wasn't very good, but the Tremecs are fantastic. I drove a Mach 1 at this actual dealership uh, with the manual, with the performance handling package, and it was amazing. So that really went into my thought process. And of course, we know the 10 speed in these cars, uh, they're just absolutely phenomenal with a five liter Coyote. Um, by far, that is the fastest transmission. If you are a drag racer, it is by far your best bet. So then I was kind of caught there, right? What, uh, what transmission really should I go with? Well, as bad as I wanted to go with a manual and, and as much fun as they are to drive on the street, I went with the 10 speed because uh, you guys know me, I'm a drag racer. Uh, the way you can tune those things is just amazing and it just really works on this car. So for my individual needs, um, I do feel like the 10 speed is the way to go. However, do not be afraid if you're gonna get a uh, dark horse to go with the manual option because it's, it's amazing, it's just an amazing transmission they're putting in that. All right, guys, look, all my selections, they're made, right? I went ahead, I milled through everything. I did my very best to kind of get this thing spec exactly the way that I want it. I'm going to go get Mac. We're going to put it in the system here, and uh, we're going to get this thing official. And it is official. Take a look right here. There is the base price on the Dark Horse. There's your $2,600 700A package. $4,500 for the handling package. As we jump over here, $500 for your blue calipers. $1,600 on the 10 speed. And of course, $1,000 gas guzzler tax. You got destination. All bringing us to just under 70. But I do have it right here in the system. Just in case you were wondering if it wasn't official. Right there on the top. There it is. 24 You've got the dark horse in here, five liter, 10 speed, and uh, grabber blue. It is all right there. I do have my personal information kind of covered up there a little bit, guys, but it's right there in the system. We are good to go. Amazing stuff. Well, there it is. So after all of this time, all the waiting, the anticipation, I am officially in the system, and hopefully I'll be taking uh, ownership of a new Dark Horse come this fall. I don't know exactly what date these are going to come out. They haven't really confirmed all that yet, but 
were there. Now, if you guys want a dark horse or you want one of the 24 Mustang GTs, make sure you do some calling ahead. Make sure the dealership that you're calling can actually work with you, that they've got an allocation for you, all that good stuff. Just do your legwork, but pretty exciting. Uh, I cannot wait to show what this car will actually do, especially once we start putting uh, some mods on the thing and having a ton of fun with it. But it's a whole new journey that I'm really looking forward to with you guys. Not to mention some other stuff I've got working in the background as well. So you guys just stick with me on that. Uh, let me know what you guys think. How would you have specced out your dark horse? Uh, maybe you did. Maybe you would love an opportunity to do it, but I'd love to hear it in the comments down below. Once again, a huge shout out to the guys at Carl Flammer Ford once again for helping me out. So couldn't do it without those guys. And I will catch you on uh, the next one. So until then, Racer X.